Hey, uh, hey guys, um, uh, it's uh, me again, and I'm back. Got with my Metallica T-shirt. Got that the live concert. Anyway, um, so AC Card Shark tagged me, and uh, he tagged everybody who watched the video. And so far, nobody's made any responses. So I think I'll put mine up first, uh, or else somebody's gonna put up theirs first. I don't know. Anyway, so here's the uh, questions. It refers to the decade you're born, so I was born in the 90s, 97 to be exact. Um, yeah, I'm only 13. I turned 13 on March 8th, actually. Um, so, uh, okay, uh, let me just say this. Uh, so the first question was, what what is your favorite movie from the 90s? That's a hard choice, because I have to pick between Wayne's World, uh, Wayne's World 1, and Shawshank Redemption. But I think I'm gonna have to go with Shawshank Redemption. I don't know, it's just an amazing movie. I mean, it just blew me away. It's about three hours long, I think. Yeah, it's really long. But um, even if you've seen, like, the Family Guy spoof and you know the ending, the climax is just so awesome. It feels like you don't know the ending, even though you do. Every time you watch it, you think something, something different will happen. It's really good. It, and my favorite part is I love when movies have, like, a time stretch over a guy's life of 20 to 40 years. So, it's about a guy, um, he goes to jail, and yeah, I'm not going to spoil anything from there, because everything else would be just a spoiler about him in jail, and how he got there, and why he's there. That'd all be spoilers. Um, so yeah. I believe the next one was favorite song, and that's Teenage Smells Like Teenage Spirit by Nirvana. Uh, what was the other favorite TV show from the nineties? Um, hmm. the nineties. Let's see. It's a tie between South Park and Beavis and ButtHead. And I I still watch Beavis and ButtHead. It's a hilarious show. People out here in Colorado have never even heard of Beavis and ButtHead. Nor have they heard of ACDC and people like that. It's strange. Um, let's see. What's another one? Uh, what was the other one? Uh, favorite toy from the 90s? Uh, this one I remember from 99. Uh, the Star Wars. Uh, the Star Wars Episode 1 toy. Where you had like this the little jet thing. And uh, the wings were detachable and stuff. And... Uh, it was supposed to replicate a scene where, like, you could be, uh, you know, moving the plane and then just just push a button and the wings would fall off and, you know, to simulate one of the crashes. It was a really cheap toy, but I, I really liked it. Um, and after that, let's see, there was a... Crap, I forgot it. Um, hold on, let me look at it real quick. Wait, wait. So it was TV show, movie, song, toy. Oh my god, I just had it in my head. You know, I, I completely forgot what the, what the last one was. So hold on, let me just look it up real quick. Um, yeah, actually, I, I thought there was five questions. But I forgot that uh, there was only just four. So my bad. Anyway, um, what was I going to say after that? Oh, yeah, some shout-outs. Um, one of my old friends from Terra Linda from California. I used to go to school with him uh, last December. And uh, he, he's right now doing gameplay videos of Borderlands. So if you really like Borderlands, go check out his stuff. He's a PS3 guy. He doesn't have his capture card yet. However, he has a clever uh, way of recording it doesn't quite look like he's using a capture card, but it's kind of close. Uh, he takes his flip camera, sets it up where it can zoom perfectly on the TV, then he takes these headphones and puts them on the camera. The audio is a little lacking, but it gets the job done according to him. But his videos are actually entertaining. They, they are entertaining, so you should go check them out. The next one is Modern Day Video Gamer. He actually just got a shout out from Macy Card Shark and so far, I think he's gotten, like, seven subscribers from that. And, uh, tomorrow when I upload the bully review, I think you may get a couple more. Anyway, um, 
Oh, another thing is, I'm not going to school tomorrow because tomorrow's a snow day, which by the time you're watching it, uh, watching this, you, I didn't go to school today. But if you are watching this as soon as I upload this, um, yeah, I, I don't, I'm not going to school, and you know, that would have been really funny if I would have said I was playing hooky. I don't know. I'm 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 a little goody two shoes. I I've, I've never gotten suspended, and I've never played hooky. I've never ditched school. I've never done any of that. I've never done drugs. Never done anything illegal in my entire life. And out here at my school, uh, about everybody has done something illegal at my school. It seems like even my teachers have. Uh, my history teacher has actually been arrested before. That I think that's hilarious. And almost all my teachers have tattoos. But, um, yeah. And, of course, a lot of the students have done stuff illegal. As you can imagine. But, it it's a mad, mad world. Anyway, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. And, uh, one game that is really making me mad is, uh... This game right here, man. I love it so much, but... That's the problem. Um, so, I'm, like, I think I'm three-fourths of the way through the game. However, uh, it, it belong it's one of three games that belongs on a certain list. The very, very good list. The best list any game can be on. I think you all know what that is. And it's one of three games. I won't be talking about them just yet. But... <clears throat> This game is incredible. The multiplayer is amazing, and the single player is amazing. And there's a reason why there's 25 perfect reviews. I mean, this is literally just a masterpiece, like everybody's saying it is. And uh, I'm actually glad I could find a sequel from 2009 that I loved as much as everybody else. No, no other sequel that came out to the entire year of 2009 that I love as much as everybody else. Modern Warfare 2, um, Left 4 Dead 2, Assassin's Creed 2, uh, there was a couple others, and yeah, I didn't love, I didn't like them as much. Assassin's Creed 2 I thought was the biggest disappointment of them all. Modern, uh, Modern Warfare 2 got very boring very quick. And uh, Left 4 Dead 2, why it is a good game, uh, it's not as addicting as Left 4 Dead 1 was. Left 4 Dead 1, on the addicting scale, is just about right here. Left 4 Dead 2 is right here. And yeah, that's mainly because Left 4 Dead 2 had really bad characters. I mean, just, it seemed like in Left... I mean, the whole thing is they have these really undeveloped characters, but yet, they, you... It's like you learn them. You learn their entire backstory as you play as them in Left 4 Dead 1. Because they all are very unique in their own way and very different. Uh, you know, like, uh, there was a guy, there was like a biker dude, there was an intelligent black guy, there was a, I'm not being racist by the way, I'm just saying. There was. There was the intelligent guy, which was Lewis, he was, uh, there was the, I forget what the old guy, but you can tell he was in the army. And then there was the girl. They're, they're all very different characters. Why is in Left 4 Dead 2, they all seem to be way too uh, similar. Uh, two of them, it just seems like one of them is very unique, and that's... I uh, uh, forgot his name, but there's one character in there that I thought was hilarious the whole way through, and that's probably what kept me playing. Anyway, so, yeah. That's everything. And see ya.